Welcome back, and today we've got a story about Zeb. And Zeb lived up there in Piscataquist County near a small town named Bannard. Now, Zeb, he got himself one of them mail-order brides from, from down below, you know, New York, somewhere down there. He picked himself up a bride. She came in by the train. He picked her up. And I uh, drove her from Bangor out to Bannard area and then into his undisclosed location. He had this woman, and when he picked her up at the station, he found right immediately she was a nagger. She nagged and nagged and nagged. She wouldn't stop. She just, the, the leather on the hoss wasn't good. The hoss wasn't shooed right. There was not, it was cold. It was this. About... About 15 years later, he'd come to the determination that this was going to be a long haul. And the only place he could ever, ever, ever get respite, some peace and quiet repose, was when he was behind his donkey plowing the field or maybe milking the cows. That was the only time he had freedom. She nagged him about every other time. Just so happened. One year, he's out there plowing the field, enjoying the day. It was a gorgeous day. The coffee that morning was just, just spiffy. And he's out there behind the old donkey. And he came noontime, and the missus brought out a sandwich for him. Well... He steered the, the donkey over there into the shade underneath the oak tree, and he packed it, and he sat down to have that sandwich. Craziest thing happened. She started in nagging and nagging and nagging about this, and that wasn't done. Just then, that old donkey up and clobbered her right in the back of the head she fell stone dead right there right right at his feet peace and quiet settled on that day well anyways a few days later at the funeral the pastor had just finished and he was up front near the corpse and well the pastor came up to him afterwards and he says, you know, old Zeb, which is short for Zebaniah, old Zeb, I noticed something peculiar. Whenever a lady came up to say something to you, you would shake your head affirmatively. But every time a man came up, you would just shake your head negatively. You mind telling me what that was about? And old Zeb, he said, you know, every time a lady would come up, she'd say, my goodness, Agnes looks gorgeous there in the casket, better than she has for years. And I'd nod my head, yeah, yeah, she looked pretty good, yeah, she does, she looks at peace, she's silent, it's, it's beautiful, yeah. And then whenever a man would come up, he would ask me, Zeb, this may not be the right time, but is that donkey for sale? Stay tuned for more videos.